you have the nitrate reducing bacteria in your mouth to be able to break that stuff down that ultimately becomes nitrites and nitric oxide. Not everybody has high nitrates in their diet because they're not eating green leafy vegetables or they have dysbiosis of the oral microbiome because they're using mouthwash, they're using things with fluoride and her numbers are really uh, red so she's getting good nitric oxide through that pathway. So that's step one. I talked about pulse wave velocity. So I'm wearing an Oura ring. The reason I got the Gen 3 was because they did add a feature last year, the Cardio Age, which is measuring pulse wave velocity. So as the blood rushes past the ring sensors, it's looking at how fast the arteries expand and contract. And you can look at the waveforms and determine how stiff the arteries are. So you want your cardio age to be close to your biological age. Mine is aligned, which is normal. And this is a pulse ox? It's not This a is pulse basically ox. a pulse ox. Let's see. Turn so that this, sucker on. So this one's called the iHeart. So this um, is a little black box that looks like a pulse ox that right. I have in my emergency travel kit. Correct. So it's going to give you your heart rate and oxygen sats, but I'm not going to pull out my phone right now. But if you had the app running, you do like a two and a half minute uh, run for it. And it will measure the arterial stiffness and will give you a vascular age reading, which can change throughout the day. But generally when I do this, it's usually at my biological age or much younger. If it's higher than the biological age, don't freak out. Like look at your no, life. You can freak out. Day. Go right yeah, ahead. Yeah. Look Won't at, do anything, look but at, you yeah, can feel yeah, free to do that. Yeah. Figure out why it might be high. It's like, oh, I you know, slept two hours last night. I, you know, just did a bunch of nicotine before I jumped on this podcast or something. Whatever. That's probably gonna happen. 